that girl Emmy, everybody, huh? Great. Making me feel old, though, you know? Like, uh, when I started doing comedy, I think she was just watching Blues Clues, you know? <laughs> She's out here performing for you, and I'm like having a tough time building up a stream in the bathroom, you know? <laughs> God damn. My dad's getting old, you know what I mean? You know, he said to me the other day, he's like, well, somebody just get me a, a black mask. I just want a black mask, you know, so I can be like, uh, you know, uh, one of the cowboys I like, like the Lone Ranger, you know? I go into the store and, you know, They'll be like, who was that masked asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Working on this new character. Uh, this is uh, Al Pochino, dog food consultant. Al Pochino, dog food consultant. <laughs> Marie, get in it. It's not enough gravy on this dog food. Hoo-ah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Victoria's Secret's making masks now. Did you guys see that? Yeah, Victoria's Secret, huh? You know, uh, something I don't like about that, you know, I don't like the double standard. You know, you can't, like, no guy's going to wear a Fruit of the Looms mask, you know what I mean? <laughs> and God forbid, ladies, you get a coffee stain on the mask or something, you know? <laughs> And the one other thing, it's like you can't leave that mask laying around everywhere, anywhere. People are going to think it's panties, you know? I found a pair of panties in front of a house one time, and I just thought, wow, a whore must live here. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of uh, comedy in uh, Fairfield, you know? And I, I think, like... People got it too good in Fairfield. It made me uh, realize I want to start doing this character, uh, Rodney Fairfield. Uh, boy, I tell you, I got it good. I got it good. You know what I mean? You get plenty of respect, you know? My wife is faithful. The kids are all good. They go to college. You know what I mean? Boy, I tell you, Rodney Fairfield, everyone. Thing. Oh, what else is new? My, um, I found out my Chinese neighbor that his uh, wife is cheating on him, you know? He, um, you know, when they were having their baby, as it turns out, two Wongs don't make a white. <laughs> oh, boy. This is my impression of the Jetsons. Getting into a car accident, your favorite cartoon family, the Jetsons, getting into a car accident. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, I'm plummeting to my death! Ah! I don't know where the joke ends. <laughs> because they never specify where the ground level is. And the Jetsons there. <laughs> I listen to a lot of podcasts. You guys listen to that uh, podcast, Talking Sopranos? That's got to be yeah. my favorite right now. Yeah, it's great, right? I just heard on, uh, on that one that um, James Gandolfini always uh, hated Jerry Seinfeld. You know, with the, you know, with his fucking sneakers and his fucking cereal. <laughs> You know, which I found hilarious because Tony Soprano ate a lot of cereal too. You know, I can just imagine them as college roommates, you know? Jerry, did you eat all the fucking cereal? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> Jerry, did you eat all the fucking cereal? Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, get out of here because I'm fucking a, a Russian whore in the dorm later, so, uh, Hey, what's the deal with Gabagool? <laughs> I, you Italians, I don't know how to say it. Gabagool, 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 Gabagool. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, folks. That was fun. <laughs>